Good day to all my Royal fans out there and welcome back to another juicy Royal installment. They may have just bought their first home in Santa Barbara, but Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan are expected to fly across the Atlantic and be back in Britain for summer 2021. Royal author Omid Scooby, who was also one of the authors of the explosive royal biography Finding Freedom, revealed that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will be based in the UK in the European summer of 2021 rather than their current home in California. In March we have the Invictus Games, which has been rescheduled in The Hague. In June we have Troop in the Colour, which I imagine Prince Harry and Meghan would like to still be at. And July we have the unveiling of the Princess Diana statue, he revealed. I would not be surprised if we saw the Sussexes spend an extended period of time in the UK next year. In a rare joint statement by Harry and his older brother, Prince William, the brothers revealed that a new statue of their late mother, Princess Diana, is to be unveiled at Kensington Palace. The palace said due to the coronavirus pandemic, the installation was delayed, but that it will take place in the sunken gardens of Kensington Palace on July 1st, 2021, on what would have been Diana's 60th birthday. Our mother touched so many lives, William and Harry's statement read. We hope the statue will help all those who visit Kensington Palace to reflect on her life and her legacy. The Sunken Gardens was a favourite spot of Princess Diana and was also the location of Prince Harry and Meghan's official engagement photo call. They may be on better terms now, but William and Harry fell out in 2018 in the lead up to Harry and Meghan's wedding. Diana's long-serving former protection officer Ken Warp says the brothers' feud would not have occurred had Diana still been alive. She had tremendous influence over them both, and I simply don't think they would have fallen out like this had Diana been around, because she wouldn't have allowed it to escalate, he told Vanity Fair. She'd have quickly instigated a resolution. I don't think Harry and Meghan would have left Kensington Palace if Diana was still around. If she could see the brothers at war, she'd be very upset about it. She always loved the fact the boys were so close. The news of Harry and Meghan's return follows claims that the couple are struggling to work as a team, according to a body language expert. When Meghan speaks, it is her talk taking the stage, and Harry immediately looks at the floor. She is not working with him, not referencing him. There is no connection with Harry at all, explains Lewis Muller. They are struggling to work as a team, she added. This is now the Megan show, with Harry the side act. Oh no, is Harry the sidekick? Shame. Guys, let me know what you thought about that article today. I thought it was quite insightful. Leave a comment below, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for the latest updates, turn notifications on, and tune in again tomorrow for more royal news. Goodbye for now.